What is going on guys and gals? Raf here from BNC Camera. And in this one, we'll be discussing some of the best options right now in the market for those wanting to get in the vlogging space. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the hottest vlogging cameras out in the market right now. First up on the list is gonna be Sony with their ZV-1. The ZV-1 is a really popular system right now with its variable angle screen and its 4K movie recording. The other really cool feature about the ZV-1 is the quick touch button for the bokeh effect. So if you want to have a blurry background, you can do that all in a switch of a button. If you're looking for similar size on Canon's side of the house, you can't go wrong with the G7X Mark III. So some of the main bullet points for the G7X Mark III is 4K 30 frames for video. It can also do 1080p at 120 frames, so if you want to do some slow-mo stuff, that's really cool. Live streaming capabilities if you want to go ahead and use it as a high-end camera system for streams. And of course, it isn't too bad of a shot as well too if you're going to use it for photos. Okay, so with those two mentioned camera systems, the only drawback to them is that they're fixed lenses. You might be thinking to yourself, hey Raf, what about a system that I can use with different lens options? Well, Canon has you covered with that with the M50 Mark II. Now the M50 Mark II packs a lot of punch for its little size. 24.1 megapixels, 4K 24 frames per second, snappy autofocusing to include facial tracking, a swivel variable angle touchscreen, and a super quick, super simple Wi-Fi button on the side so if you want to tether your phone or your PC, you can go ahead and transfer files to post to social media that much faster. In terms of overall functionality, the ZV-E10 is pretty similar to the M50 Mark II. It's got a swivel screen and also shoots 4K. If you're missing the viewfinder option and want to do some photos as well too, you can't go wrong with the 6000 series from Sony. The 65 and 6600 models also have built-in stabilization in the body as well too, albeit it's a little bit better on those models compared to the ZV-E10. And lastly, I want to go ahead and put in my recommendations from GoPro, DJI, and Insta360. And alrighty, that is a wrap for this one. Now, I know I went over a bunch of different camera systems fairly quickly for this list, so if you guys want any in-depth analysis on the equipment, be sure to let us know in the comments section and we'll try to have coverage on the system as quickly as possible. When those do drop, be sure to stay up to date with us by subscribing to our channel as well too. It helps us out a lot and also gives us a good idea on what to work on next. Raf from BNC Camera, and we'll catch you on the next one.